Hello students, welcome back. Today we will start with exercise 4.6. In exercise 4.6, we will solve the sums related to solving the linear equation using matrix. Okay, now see, uh, we will be solving linear equation like ax plus by equal to c or let's say a1x plus b1y a2x plus b2y equal to c2, right? This is the linear equation in two variables. We are solving using elimination method or substitution method. Similarly, also like if there are three variables, a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d2, a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal to d2, a3x plus b3y plus c3z equal to d3. See, these are the equation, linear equation with three variables, x, y, and z. And this with two variables. So, <coughs> till now, we were solving it using uh, elimination method, sometimes using substitution method. Now, the question may be asked, solve it is using the method of matrix. Okay, using matrix. So see, what you have to do? You have to form two matrix. Uh, in fact, three matrix. Okay, you have to form three matrices. The first one, A will be equal to the coefficient of X and Y, like A1, B1, A2, B2. Okay. Second one will be B that will be equal to the constant term. Okay, like C1, C2. The third matrix will be the variables. Like X will be equal to X and Y. Okay, so what you need to do first, first form the three matrices. First related to the coefficients. Second, the constant terms, and third, x and y. So, what is your formula? Our formula is x equal to a inverse b. So, first you need to find out a inverse. So, what was the formula for a inverse? 1 upon determinant value of a into adjoint of a. But for that, determinant value of a must not be equal to zero if this is the case then only we will say that uh, we will say that the uh, linear equation is consistent okay if this is equal to zero that means linear equation is not consistent so two types of questions are asked first Check the consistency of the linear equation. In that equation, what you have to do? Just form the determinant using, sorry, matrix using the coefficient and find out its determinant value. If it is not equal to zero, that means it's consistent. If it is equal to zero, that means it's not consistent. Okay, and second, find out the value of x, y, and z. So first, in second question, like if you want to find out the value of x, y, and z, then first find out the consistency it means determinant value must not be equal to zero and then use this formula x equal to a inverse b clear okay so see when you will find out a inverse and multiply by b okay you will got a, you will get a matrix which consists of one column and two row in this case okay and that will be equal to x so just uh, relate the corresponding element of this matrix x and y okay means if you get such a way like x y equal to 3 5 that means the value of x is 3 and value of y is 5 clear now if it is a 3 cross 3 uh, sorry 3 variables linear equation in that case the matrix a will be 3 cross 3, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. So the order is 3 cross 3. Here it was 2 cross 2. Clear? 
Okay, and here it's two cross one. In this case, the matrix B will be three cross one. I mean three rows and one column. Okay, and the matrix X will be equal to X, Y, and Z. So again, use the same formula. Clear? So this is the method to solve the linear equation using matrix okay so just note down this method now let's start with the exercise you have to find out the consistency of the system of linear equation. First, second, and third, these are in two variables. Fourth, fifth, and sixth, these are in three variables. Okay, so I will do one from the first three. So let's solve the first one. X plus 2Y equal to 3. 2x plus 3y equal to 3. So write down this in order. Okay. So now, first we need to find out the matrix of the coefficient. Now see the question is you only have to find the consistency. Means you need not find out x and y. So what was the uh, method for that? Form the matrix using the coefficient. And then find out its determinant value if it is equal to zero, not consistent. If it is not equal to zero, then it will be consistent. So using the coefficient, see row wise, you have to write down one, two, two, three. Okay, no need to find out the other matrix and x because you only need to find out the consistency. So, what is the determinant value of a? 3 ones are 3, minus 2 rows are 4, this is minus 1, not equal to 0. Therefore, the linear equation is consistent. Okay? So you only have to do this much if the question is find the consistency of the system of linear equation. Clear? So similarly, you have to solve second and third on your own. So first, just note down question number one. Okay, now let's move to the next. Now, 4, 5, and 6. Again, these are similar in <coughs> three variables. So I'll solve the fourth one. You have to solve 6 and 6. So let's write down the question 4. X plus Y plus Z equal to 1. Write down in order. So you will find it easy to form the matrix. 2X plus 3Y plus 2Z equal to 2 and ax plus ay plus 2az equal to 4. Clear? So now, to check the consistency, form the matrix using the coefficient 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, a, a, 2a. Okay? So the determinant value of a will be equal to 1, 3 into 2a, 6a minus 2a. Minus 1, 2 into 2a, 4a minus 2a. Plus 1, 2a minus 3a. So this will be equal to 6a minus 2a, 4a. 4a minus 2a, 2a and minus, so minus 2a. 2a minus 3a, minus 1a. So this is equal to A, and A is not equal to zero because 
If a is equal to zero, then this will not be possible. Zero plus zero plus zero, that can't be equal to four. That means a is not equal to zero. And <coughs> as the determinant value of a is not equal to zero, the linear equation is consistent. Okay, so similarly, you have to solve fifth and sixth. So you don't need to find out the value of x, y, and z. You need to find out whether the equation is uh, equations are consistent or not. Clear? So note down question number four. Okay, now let's move to the next questions. Question number seven, eight, nine, and 10. All the questions are similar. The question is solve the system of linear equation using matrix method. Okay, so all these four are similar. I will solve two of them and rest of the two you have to solve by yourself. Okay, so let's start with the seventh one. Now see, first thing you have to form the equation in this way. Means if the equation is given in like this, ax plus by plus c equal to zero, then first converting this from like ax plus by equal to minus c and then this value you have to take in this second determinant in which you are taking the constant values okay clear so in this question it is directly given in the same form so what is your aim first form three matrix three matrices first using the coefficient five two seven three b constant term four five and C, not C, X, which are the two coefficients, uh, sorry, which are the two variables, X and Y, okay? So first, let's check the consistency, means determinant value of A. So this will be equal to 5, 3 is 15, minus 7, 2 is 14. This is equal to 1, and that is not equal to 0, therefore, the given linear equation is consistent. Okay, so now it is possible to find out the value of x and y. So what was our formula? x equal to a inverse b. Clear? So now what we will do? First, we'll find out a inverse. For a inverse, I will require adjoint. So adjoint of a. See, we are having a shortcut for adjoint of 2 cross 2 matrix. So, how we can find it out? Okay, see, just exchange these diagonals and put negative sign in this way. So, this is the adjoint. Okay, so now what is A inverse? 1 upon determinant value of A into <coughs> adjoint of it. So determinant value of A is 1. So 1 by 1, 1, 3, minus 2, minus 7, 5. <coughs> so this is A inverse. Okay. So now what is X? A inverse B. Now let me write down A inverse. 3, minus 2, minus 7, 5. What is B? 4, 5. Now, let me multiply this. So, this will be equal to 3 and minus 2. So, this will be equal to 
4 3 is 12, fine to minus 2, minus 10. Now let's take the second row. Minus 7, 5. 7 to 4, minus 28, plus 25. So this will be equal to 12 minus 10, that is equal to 2. Minus 28 plus 25, that will be equal to minus 3. And what was this? This was matrix X. So that is X and Y. Clear? So X is equal to 2 and Y equal to minus 3. We compared the corresponding values. You can also verify it. Putting X equal to 2, 5 to that 10 plus 3 into minus 2 minus 6. Is this equal to 4? Yes. That means our answer is correct. Okay. So what we have to do? First form a matrix using the coefficient. Then the, using the constant term. And then variables. And then use first find out the consistency. Means find out the determinant value. It must not be equal to 0. And then x equal to a inverse b. Clear? So note down question number 7. Now let's solve one more. Let's solve the 10th one, 8th and 9th. You solve it by your own based on the method we are doing in 7. We done in 7 and we are going to do in 10. So let's start with 10. 5x plus 2y equal to 3. 3x plus 2y that is equal to 5. So first, form a matrix using the coefficient. 5, 2, 3, 2. Okay. Using the constant term. 3, 5. And then variables. Okay. So what is our first step? To check the consistency. So find out the determinant value of A. It's 5 to the 10 minus 3 to the 6, 4, that is not equal to 0. That means linear equation, given linear equation is consistent. Clear? Now what is your next step? X equal to A inverse B. So we need to find out A inverse. For A inverse, we need to find out adjoint. So adjoint of A, our shortcut, exchange these two, and minus sign. Okay? So A inverse 1 upon determinant value of A into adjoint of A. Determinant value is 1 by 4, and adjoint 2 minus 2 minus 3 and Five. Clear? Now let's use this equation. X equal to A inverse B. Now what is A inverse? 1 by 4. We will not multiply this. 1 by 4. We will multiply it at the last. Minus 2. Minus 3. 5. Now what is B? 3. 5. 1 by 4. Let's take the first row. 3 to the 6. 5 to minus 2 minus 10. Second row. 3 to minus 3 minus 9. 5, 5 is a 25. So this will be equal to 1 by 4. 6 minus 10. That is equal to minus 4. Minus 9 plus 25. 16. So x, y. Multiply this. 1 by 4 into minus 4, minus 1. 1 by 4 into 16, 4. So x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 4. Clear? Let's confirm it. 5 to minus 1, minus 5. 
and four twos are eight. Three, yes, so our answer is correct. Clear? So this was about question number 10. Just note it down. Okay, so question number 8 and 9, you do it by yourself based on the method that we have done in 10. Okay, so students, that's it for today. In our next video, we'll continue with this exercise 4.6 and then we'll solve a linear equation in three variables using the matrix method. Okay, thank you.